plus 20 seconds operations director that the test vehicle is performing normally plus 25 seconds vyajnikon ne chain ki saans li prajwala 30 seconds khushi ki lahar yahan Will box conditions will be achieved during the flight regime? जी हाँ रोहन कर रहे हैं। By which time performance normal? T V D one का प्रणोद सामान्य। Box achieved. Plus one minute. Engine thrust cut off. C A separated. एचएम मोटर्स आर इक्नाइटेड ट्रीटमेंट डिप्लाइड इवन को पृथक कर दिया गया है और सीएस सीएम साथ में कोस्टिंग फेज में है ग्रिड फेंस डिप्लॉय कर दिए गए हैं क्विक सक्सेशन ऑफ इवेंट्स हियर ऑल द इवेंट्स हैव बीन टेक टेकिंग प्लेस एस पर द प्रिडिक्शन द ग्रिड फेंस हैव बीन डिप्लॉयड द टेस्ट व्हीकल हैज बीन जेडिसेंट इस क्रम में अगले घटना CJM motor ke firing ke saath crew module ko crew escape system se separate kar diya gaya hai now the crew escape system has been jettisoned the apex cover has has been jettisoned and now the orbital module is reorienting itself and the aerodynamic loading ji haan iske saath hi descent phase shuru ho chuka hai crew module ka drogue shoot plus 2 minutes are decelerating the crew module Around 200 seconds of this regime will adequately bring down the velocity of the crew module. Thereafter, the pilot shoots will deploy the main parachutes. Drogue shoot deploy किए जा चुके हैं। यह करीब 16 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई पर deploy कर दिए गए थे। और करीब 200 सेकेंड्स में crew module की गति को 152 सेकेंड से। On your TV screens. The visuals, the real-time visuals of the drogue parachutes in a deployed condition being captured from the crew module. Current altitude, 10 kilometers. Plus 3 minutes. This is the next time, when the drogue parachute is going to be 2.4 kilometers, then the drogue parachute will be different from the crew module from the crew module. पायलट और मेन पैराशूट डिप्लॉय किए जाएंगे क्रू मॉड्यूल की गति पूर्व निर्धारित तरीके से कम की जा रही है यह ड्रोक पैराशूट के कर्षण के कारण होता है the intent of drogue parachutes is to reduce the velocity of crew module from 145 meters per second to 51 meters per second. Current velocity 61 meters per second. Crew module धीरे धीरे नीचे आता हुआ drogue parachute plus four minutes उसकी गति कम की जा रही है. संतावन मीटर प्रति सेकेंड है अभी वर्तमान गति है उसकी। Next flight event will be triggered by sensing the altitude of 2.5 kilometers, which is the deployment of pilot shoots and then the main parachutes. We are at an altitude of 4.7 kilometers. अब तक पूरी गतिविधियां पूर्व निर्धारित तरीके से जारी हैं। ऊंचाई धीरे-धीरे कम होते हुए, गति लगभग 50 मीटर प्रति सेकंड। यहाँ हम स्क्रीन पर देख सकते हैं दो ड्रोग पैराशूट्स, लगभग 5.6 मीटर व्यास के पैराशूट्स हैं। Visuals of drogue shoots. So release, main shoot deployed. And there is a confirmation that drogue shoots have been released and pilot shoots have enabled the main parachutes to deploy. 
these main parachutes which are three in number are very very large in size 25 meters each khoobsurat nazara ye teen main parachutes deploy ho chuke hain aur ye wo antim charan hai jab preo module ki gati ko 8.5 meter prati second se kam le gaya jayega aur preo module touch down karega to bring down the velocity of impingement in the sea to around 8.5 crew module in second. descent phase with main chute plus 6 minutes relative velocity now 12 meters per second we are at an altitude of 1.6 kilometers परीक्षण पूर्व निर्धारित तरीके से जारी है गति धीरे धीरे कम होते हुए अब 15 मीटर प्रति सेकंड रह गई है और ऊंचाई 1.5 किलोमीटर इंडियन नेवी टीम इज रेडीली डिप्लॉयड इन द सी अराउंड द श्रीहरिकोटा कोस्ट फॉर क्विकेस्ट पॉसिबल रीचिंग टू द क्रू मॉड्यूल एंड देन रिकवरिंग इट अंत में टचडाउन के पश्चात मेन पैराशूट को भी क्रू मॉड्यूल से अलग कर दिया जाएगा तथा क्रू मॉड्यूल अपने आसपास रंग बिखेर देगा जिससे इसे लोकेट करने में आसानी होगी वहां सुरक्षित दूरी पर तैनात प्लस सेवन मिनट भारतीय नौसेना के पोत इसके पास जाकर उसे रिकवर करेंगे द क्रू मॉड्यूल इज प्रोवाइडेड विथ लोटेशन सिस्टम and it will be remaining afloat until the recovery crew reaches it to aid in recovery sea markers and location transmitters are provided to be identified at the quickest possible time ye yes, sab astronauts ko surakshit prithvi par wapas lane ki prakriya hai टचडाउन की स्थितियां प्राप्त की जा चुकी है as we told you 8.5 meters per second is the benign touchdown velocity we are now observing around 9 meters per second velocity while the altitude is around 600 meters सभी गतिविधियां पूर्व निर्धारित तरीके से पूर्ण हो रही हैं। इससे पता लगता है कि वैज्ञानिकों की गणना कितनी सटीक है विश्वसनीय है और उसका ही प्रदर्शन आज यहां किया जा रहा है प्लस नाइन मिनट 300 हंड्रेड मीटर ऑल्टीट्यूड ऊंचाई धीरे धीरे कम होते हुए 200 मीटर की ऊंचाई रह गई है गति 5 मीटर प्रति सेकेंड वेन द क्रू मॉड्यूल टचेस डाउन eventually the main parachutes also will be released away from the crew module impact is sensed now the confirmation is available for a successful splash down of the crew module yes yeah, ki ghoshna kar di gayi hai crew module ko surakshit touch down kara diya gaya hai bangal ki khadi par देख सकते हैं खुशी की लहर वैज्ञानिकों में 
jubilant ambience in the mission control center here at Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota. On your TV screens, the visuals live from okay, the Bay of Bengal. Mission director. This is mission director. The TV D1 mission has fully accomplished its objectives. The crew module has safely landed at the target point. Mission of Deshe Prapt Karliya Gaya Hai. Ab Aapko Samodit Karenge Isro Adhyaksh Shri Asomnath. Isro has achieved a successful test vehicle flight and has moved a step closer to the prestigious Gaganyan mission. We take leave from you. Do continue to stay tuned for the address by Secretary DOS Chairman Isro. Shri S. Somnath. Aap sabhi darshakho ko shubh kaam nai. Hum aap se aagya lete hai. I'm very happy to announce the successful accomplishment of the TVD1 mission. <laughs> the purpose of this mission was to demonstrate the crew escape system for the Gaganyan program through a test vehicle demonstration in which the vehicle has gone up to a uh, Mach number which is a speed of sound slightly above that and initiated a, an abort condition for the crew escape system to function. Uh, it uh, took the crew escape system, took the crew module away from the vehicle and uh, subsequent operations of the crew module separation from the crew escape system, all the parachutes opening and touched down on in the sea at the required velocity has been very well accomplished and we have got confirmation of the data of all of this. And uh, we will be further doing the uh, approach recovery operations of the crew module to be collected from the sea, brought to the port by the ships, that activity will continue to happen. Uh, till now, based on the data, everything has performed very nominally and perfect. I will also like to tell the reason for why we had a hold. Uh, we initially wanted the launch to happen at 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, but there was some weather related issues. We have rescheduled the launch to 8.45 a.m. But after going through the nominal liftoff process, there was a hold issued by the ground computer, which is called the uh, automatic launch sequence computer, which detected a sort of a uh, non-conformance for allowing the engine to continue the thrusting to further go. So this happened due to a monitoring anomaly in the system. So we could identify it very, very fast and correct it. And uh, to make the stage ready, it took some time to refill the gases and that once that has been completed, we went through the proper automatic launch sequence which uh, checked the entire health of the vehicle and finally the mission computer and the ground checkout computer authorized the launch to take off which uh, released the rocket from the launch pad and subsequent activities of the flight as well as the post uh, termination about uh, sequence also got executed perfectly. So I am very happy that our team could understand uh, in case of any anomaly how to rectify, rectify and come back fast as fast and uh, congratulations to everybody uh, this is a big training for the entire team here to prepare for the Gaganyan program I'm very happy that launch could take place today within the allocated launch window uh, and we will come back with more analysis and data of this submission uh, on uh, recovery of the crew module which is happening now we are having uh, views from uh, coming from the sea from the drones cameras which are being taking them uh, before that, before we get any further updates, I would like to introduce the mission director, Sri S. Shiva Kumar, and the director of the crew module and crew escape system uh, to you. So, over to Shiva Kumar. So, the very happy to be here in ISRO, or in the Bharatiya Antarikshanusandhan Kendra, ISRO.